Hi, this is Corky Kessler, and we're doing a talk with uh, with people who are going to talk to me about a documentary that they want to do, and then we'll comment on the marketability. So could you introduce yourself, please? Yes, my name is uh, Frank Norvold. I'm from Hamburg in Germany. Uh, I'm a working as a, or I'm a super yacht designer and naval architect during this job in 25 years, being in the super yacht business. Uh, as you can see, that also can is a place where a lot of uh, super yachts are meeting points for the film industry, which we can see outside here on the bay. So we have also some yachts here, and we have uh, formed a group called Port of Course, which we say POC, together with my, my partners here. We have Joyce Clear, Victoria Leon, and uh, Frank Meyer, Dr. Meyer Kerner, who's around here. And we just came here to find, uh, to introduce the idea to make a documentary film about the, not about the super yacht uh, development itself, but about the um, opportunities for owners who invent yachts, or if it is a small boat or even a big yacht or super yacht, thinking about the green environment um, to uh, not just to invest in or just to uh, create something in, in luxury, but also in innovation and substantiality. That is our idea. And, yeah. and do you have a budget for your documentary? We have a certain budget, but the budget is, 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 is at the moment, it's very difficult to uh, not for the book, it, but, no. but for the documentary. For the documentary, we, as we are have no, that we are not experienced in that. But this is why we are here to, to find out and to meet people who are probably can help us to develop such a documentary, and also to meet owners who we really like to invest in such a, in such a documentary. Because a film, because it could also uh, inspire other owners or clients who are looking forward to buy or to create a, a sailing or motor yacht or a super yacht, to develop such a vessel in a way of that it can be also used by people who, who are doing something for the oceans as we do, uh, in a way of that we have to also to take the, the, the a responsibility for it. There are a lot of documentaries uh, that get sold. Uh, during the Sundance Film Festival. It's, it's probably one of the largest uh, film festivals that actually sells a s significant amount of docs. My concern is that your, the, the, the documentary that you want to make is not going to be marketable enough for enough of a market to want to put down 10 or $12 to see the, the, the film. So if it's going to be a documentary just for a few people, it's not going to necessarily be funded. I agree with you. This is why we're just here. This is why we're here. And this is why we try to, to find a, or to, yeah, to analyze for ourselves how we could make this more popular to, to let's say, to, to all the society. Because as you know, super yachting is always, is also, has also a lot of critical um, watched by people. They say that there are some wealthy people who can, who can afford to go on a, on a super yard or there's also some, some uh, industries or business who, who just entertain themselves being on super yards. But there are a lot of owners and uh, even uh, companies who are doing yachting and they are also taking care about um, the way of how we can take care about the oceans. They're sailing around the world. They, they realize that we have a lot of uh, dirt in the water, whether here in the Mediterranean or in the Pacific, for example. Uh, uh, we met one owner, which is a very good friend of us, and he also gave us an idea and said, you know, I was sailing with my big 40-meter sailing yard around the world, and I found a big, big carpet out of, let's say, carpet in my bad English, very sorry for that, saying full of plastic and dirties in the Pacific, and nobody knows about it. And I think the responsibility lies with us, the people who, who, or the societies who are living in Europe or in America or in the, in the let's say, civilization, the high-end civilization, and we have also to, uh, to communicate this to everybody who is involved in that, whether people, normal people, whether rich people, whether wealthy people. Yeah, is it, yes. If I may. Uh, um, could, I could, think you, wait, uh, could you identify yourself, please? Excuse me? Could you tell everyone who you are, please? Yes, I'm Joyce Clear. I am an interior designer for Clear Yacht Interiors, and I am the founder of Ports of Cause. Okay. And we have created Ports of Cause as a way to unify the yachting industry to speak on behalf of the oceans. And the way that we do this is through sustainability. Sustainability is an opportunity for innovation, and innovation is what inspires people in all walks of life. So we are actually using a lead-based model, a land-based model of sustainability, 
and transferring that knowledge into the yachting industry so that we can create a fleet of blue yachts, which we call them, that can stand on behalf of the ocean, not just for people who are really concerned about the state of the oceans, but also those people that are, are, in, are having a fascination with any kind of technology, because most of the technology that's on the yachts can be transferred to land. I, uh, I don't necessarily question the, the business aspect of what you're doing. Uh -huh. I only question the marketability of, uh, of anyone funding your, your film sure. based on what you're doing. Uh, um, uh, because I'm in the film business. Sure. Uh, I do documentaries. I do feature films. Okay. I raise money and help raise money for documentaries and, and films. But, uh, but I don't do that unless I think there's a marketability, a sufficient marketability, where there's some chance of money coming back to the the, the investors. So, it, 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 so if you develop your program where where it, it, it is viewed to reach a significant amount of people, then you could have something. But if you can't, you just could have a business that, that hopefully raises money to help right. you the, build your yacht. The yachting industry is a source of fascination for the world. It always has been, like planes and whatnot. Celebrities drive interest. So when you can work with celebrities that own boats, that care about the oceans, it's not really about the boat. It's about the work that's been doing, that's been being done for the oceans worldwide, all over the world, because we are a global community. And in addition to that, it's an opportunity to show off technology. And any, any person is always intrigued by the next iPhone, the next um, furniture with solar panels in that you can use on your deck and you can plug your phone into that. There's a million bioplastic, plastics that are being made out of starch and salt that actually will replace what we normally have now. So everything that we do on the boat is, the boat's sexy, people like to watch that. What we like to do is get beyond the sexy and start showing people the innovation and the brilliant minds that are in our industry that are creating product that will change the world. It will change the way the oceans are being cleaned up. And as, the, as a force for good, because we want to dispel the notion that yachting is just about being fancy, You've got some great minds and you've got passionate, passionate people that want to truly make a difference in this world. And if we can do that through a film and they walk away inspired, not depressed, they walk away inspired and they can say, wow, this industry has the capacity to change the world. And we can. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.